Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll go over alternate cabinet layouts. Now while the default cabinet layout of drawers, folders, and files is a great choice for most users, we recognize that it doesn't fit everybody's needs perfectly, so we provided a number of different ways to modify the layout of your cabinets to suit your needs a little bit better, and we'll go over those. The first option we'll cover lets you take the files view and move it underneath the folders view so that they're stacked vertically instead of being lined up horizontally. And let's show you how to do that. If you come to the files button, the files action button right here, you'll notice display files on bottom. When we select that, the files view is moved underneath the folders view. Now why would you want to do that? The main reason is to create more space over here on the right side for the preview window. If you're the kind of user who likes to work with the preview window open all the time, this might be a great option for you because it gives you that little bit of extra space, especially if you don't deal with too many folders. You can have your folders and files stacked and a lot of space for the preview over here on the right. Now to turn that option off, just go back to the Files Action button again and deselect Display Files on Bottom, and you're right back to where you were before. Now the rest of the layout options can be found in your cabinet settings. So let's edit this cabinet and take a look at those options. We can edit the cabinet by coming to the Cabinets Action button and selecting Edit Cabinet. Now you'll notice among your cabinet options there's a Layout tab, and this is where you can change the layout of your cabinet. Let's take a look at this first option right here, Display Drawers in Drop List. When we select that, you'll notice what happened. The drawers have disappeared. They haven't actually disappeared. They've been moved up to a list right here above the folders. So we've got our folders and files here, but the drawers are now here in a drop list. Some users really like this as a way to select a name and then everything you see below belongs to that client or patient or customer. Another advantage to this layout is, again, we have a lot of room over here on the right-hand side for the preview window, if you're the kind of user who likes to leave the preview window open all the time. Now with our drawers moved up here into a drop list, it begs the question, how do you add a new drawer, how do you rename or delete a drawer? And the answer to that is, our drawers task button is still there, it's just been moved over here onto the left-hand side, and it's a small button now. But if we click this, we still have all of the options that we normally would have for drawers. The only difference is the drawers are being displayed as a list rather than in their own column. Okay, we're back in our cabinet options. Let's take a look at the next type of layout. Do not use drawers. Now this layout is for users who don't like the drawer paradigm at all. They'd rather just use Windows Explorer folder trees like they're used to. Notice as we select this, the drawers list is gone. In fact, the drawers are still there. You'll notice we still have each of our names right here, but they're just being displayed as a normal Windows Explorer folder tree. What's the advantage of this? Well, the advantage of this is for those users who like to use Windows Explorer, they like to use the folder trees, but you want a quick and easy way to get to a very specific section of folders. This is almost like shortcuts, but better, to where you can isolate a single group of folders on your machine into a cabinet, and each of your cabinets is a different section of folders in Windows Explorer. You can quickly move back and forth between them and focus all of your effort and all of your attention on the folders that you actually use instead of spending the extra time drilling down through your drives and trying to get into the section of folders. So this is a very popular layout with users who prefer to use Windows Explorer but like the, the uh, quick access of a cabinet metaphor. Okay, we're back in the cabinet settings. Let's take a look at the last layout option. Do not use folders. Now there are some users who prefer to just put their files directly into the drawer and not use folders or subfolders at all. For these users, having that middle column of folders that's not being used is a waste of horizontal space and they'd prefer to just get rid of it. Well that's what this option does. If I select Do Not Use Folders and click OK, notice that the folders list disappears entirely. 
Now all that we're showing is the drawers and the files that are immediately in the drawers. Which begs the question, what if some of these drawers actually have folders and files in them? Well, those subfolders and any files in those subfolders will be ignored. All that you're going to see are the drawers and the files that are immediately in the drawers. Now, as a final note, there are some users who enjoy all of File Center's features, especially PDF and scanning and OCR features, but they really prefer to just use Windows Explorer for their file management. Well, we'd like to point out that for those users, we do offer an Explorer interface right here. The Explorer option over here on the right hand side gives you a regular Windows Explorer interface with a split view so you've got your folder tree over on the left and then you can see your files and subfolders over here on the right, which is a really nice option for those users who just like a Windows Explorer interface. All of your options like scanning into the selected folder, OCRing selected files, working with PDF documents, those all work just the same in the Explorer interface as they would over in the regular cabinet interface. So how can you make it so the File Center will always default to Explorer mode? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Just come up here to Settings, and you'll notice in the General section, you have a Startup Manage mode. Switch that to Explorer, and File Center will always open up directly into your Explorer mode. So those are File Center's layout options. Hopefully you find one that fits your needs.